Game number three of week number seven. We got a three and three Hanover Horton heading over to one and five East Jackson. Both of these teams are uh, sort of on the schneid right now, struggling a little bit each side. Hanover Horton after a three and one start has fallen to three and three. East Jackson after uh, looking pretty decent in its first couple games turned out it was more against a lesser opponent. And uh, after starting one and one, has gone 0 and 4 in his last four games and uh, surrendered more than 40 points in each of those games and uh, was shut out in three of them. So it's been it's been tough sledding for East Jackson thus far. But Hanover Horton, whose defense was supposed to be its calling card or showed that it was earlier this season, uh, has sort of fallen off as well, uh, giving up 79 points in two losses the last two weeks, including 39. Uh, in a loss last week to a Grass Lake offense that has struggled at times. Now, East Jackson, uh, in order to score against Hanover Horton, is going to need to be more than just this man, Daniel Poole. Uh, Zach Seymour has also had a nice season, but uh, they, they need to show their versatility a little more. East Jackson does show, have a little more scheme and a little less uh, just sort of man-on-man -man blocking. Uh, they, they really just sort of put a helmet on, on a man in front of you instead of really any zone blocking schemes or anything, which, which hinders its offense. So East Jackson has to um, take that next level, as take that next step as an offense uh, and just implement some more schemes. I mean, really, because it's, it's just a little too basic right now for high school varsity football, to be frank. Um, and Hanover Horton, this is the unit that will likely win this game. Uh, it's going to be its offense. East Jackson, as I mentioned before, hasn't really been able to stop anybody thus far this season and Hanover Horton has been able to put up points as well. Uh, I said that East Jackson had given up at least 40 in each of its last four losses. It only gave up 34 last week to Addison. However, 270 points surrendered in just six weeks. Um, can do some quick math there. That's more than 45. Uh, that is 45 points per week. So tough to win when you're giving up 45 points a game. And that's why I think Hanover Horton's really going to bounce back for, for a much win, uh, must need win in week seven. Hanover Horton, three and three, has to win three in a row in order to guarantee its postseason spot. And that's certainly no, um, no guarantee with Addison, uh, the next team on the schedule. But Hanover Horton shouldn't have too much trouble in this one. Should be able to get a nice feel good win over East Jackson, get to four and three. And. Uh, that's when it'll face its uh, biggest tef test of the season.